Hello everyone, this is Onion back at it, and here are what my current stats look like, so that you all know what this is, how to re reference the damage. And this video is going to be on a showcase of Gummo Gummo. No, me. This is what pistol looks like. It has decently long range, as you can see. And it is a... it's an okay move. There's a lot better moves that you can use. But it is decent, it has a very low cooldown, even in the first form. As you can see, there's a long range, and the damage output on it, it's rather high at a whopping, just near, I'd say, 13,000, about? 15,000. It's just about 16,000, actually. So, about 16,000 without hockey, of course. And this is Bazooka. Use both your arms in this one, instead of just one, and it has also decently long range. And most of these moves are single target, but they are, some of them are AoE. And Bazooka does a whopping 16,000 damage, just about the same as Pistol. And then you have, of course, the amount of damage that Bazooka does, which is stupidly hard to land sometimes. 16,000 as you just saw. Now I'll just show you this one more time. It's just going to be a quick 16,000. And this is Rocket. It's a transport move, I guess you'd say. Basically, you just fling yourself using your arms. You just latch on something and throw yourself. It has a decently okay cooldown. doesn't have that long of a range, but it's good for getting out of, like, hard-to-escape scenarios if you really need it. And this is what Gatling looks like. It does 1.5k damage on each move. And that's without hockey. All these moves are without, without hockey right now. It has a pretty decent use time. And it has, all these moves have very low cooldown, surprisingly. And then let me go and enable hockey to show you the damage with hockey enabled. So it goes from 16k to 28k with pistol. Goes from 16k to 28k with Bazooka. Rocket doesn't change much. It just gives a like a really nice sleek outlayer on the um move, and then Gatling gives your fist like a black coating, just like the rest. And then the damage that it did was around 2.5k, I believe. And then here is Gear Second without hockey. So now the moves are, like, instant. Like, you don't even see them happen. Apart from Rocket. Because it's a transfer move. Nothing much about that is going to change. But yeah, so Pistol. It's an instant move. It has the same amount of range. They deal about the same amount of damage that happens if you get... If you enable Hockey. Basically meaning you're going to get a Hockey boost. And also you're going to get a... Gear Second boost if you have Gear Second enabled. It's, it's pretty decent. These rocket looks like it doesn't really change that much. Cooldowns are reduced in this mode, which are very cool. And your speed is increased as well. And what Gatling looks like is this. It does about 1.5k. It still does the same amount. Gatling actually doesn't increase damage at all. And now here's what Hockey looks like. So with Pistol, if I can land it correctly, it does about 38k. So you get like 10k more, which is a lot of damage. And then same with Bazooka. And then Gatling goes from 1.5k to 6.5k, which is a very big upgrade in damage. And then Rocket doesn't change much at all. Now I'm going to go and disable Hockey and disable Gear 2nd and show you all what the main video is going to be about. Gear 4. <laughs> I personally really like this animation. It's It kind of sucks that there's not the bouncing noise, but here's what, that's what Kong Gun looks like. It is basically, it's also an AoE move. You basically pull your arm back and hit. And Kong Gun, without Taki, does about 73,000 damage. That's a big upgrade. That's about 40,000 more damage than Gear Second with Hockey Pistol. So basically just Pistol, but longer range, AoE, and much better. And this is what Kong Organ Gun looks like. It basically is just a flurry of fists. It does about 13k damage per hit, which is a lot of damage. Just Gatling, but better, AO, more AoE, all that. 
This is what it looks like up close. You got all the fists going out and everything. And then you have Leo Bazooka, which is basically you pulling both your arms back, and it's basically double Kong guns. It's basically just Bazooka, but better, and more AoE. And the damage that Leo Bazooka does is just around... If I'll use move, it's... Oh yeah, it doesn't really want to work on these bandits. I'll have to show it on Luffy later. But since I can't really do that here, I'll show you what King Kong gun looks like in a second. After I am done trying to get this to work, because this is being very annoying. So why does it want to work? As you saw, it does have an AoE though. It's a very large AoE. King Kong gun looks like. You basically go up, like you jump up into the air, and you inflate your fist with a lot of air, and then just slam it into the ground. It's a very powerful move. One of the best moves on the entire moveset. This is what it looks like from the bottom. As you saw, there's an entire whole AoE over that. And here's what it looks like whenever you use it on a crowd of enemies. And the damage I'll put on it is very high. I can't can't really see that, so I'm gonna have to reposition to see if I can see it any better because it's very difficult to see from that high up. Let's see if this one will work. Because hoping it does, maybe it doesn't. Hoping it does though, and it didn't. I couldn't see that properly. That's very fun. Let's see if it'll work on this one. Because hopefully it does. If it doesn't, that's gonna suck. I'm just waiting. Okay, let's see. So, still can tell what that was. I think it was like 114k, I think. Let me see if I can see it this time. No. Never mind. Okay, well, it was around 114k, and this is what Bounce Flight looks like. It's one of my favorite ways to travel, apart from the fact that it drains so much of your stamina. Like, if you plan to use Gear 4 and you want to use the Bounce Light all the time, have so much stamina. Like, you need to have at least maxed out stamina stat, because I'm at, like, 3k stamina. Alright, here we are. We finally made it to Luffy Island after a very fun journey. So, this is what Leo Bazooka, the damage that does. It's around 100... And it's around 122k damage. It's a good amount of damage. Now that I've died to Luffy, I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can actually um, obtain Gear 4 fat, which is on Dawn Island. It's the way that you get to... Um, it's the way that you get to Gear to Second Sea, and it's also where they have the Gear Raid at. Gear 4 for it. The boss has 15 million HP, so my personal recommendation, go in with Chop and you can AFK it. It's very easy to AFK with Chop, because he literally cannot attack you with Chop. You just have a need to have a very high hockey and fruits, fruit um, stat. So yeah, might want to be prepared before you go into that. Also, you're going to need to have Gear 2nd to obtain... To, obtain the gear 4 scroll but you're going to need to have gear second to actually use it and obtain gear 4 whenever you use the gear 4 scroll oh yeah and whenever you switch to a different thing for example if i switch to black leg or my sword or a gun it'll switch me out of gear 4 mode which is a bit annoying it can be a bit annoying whenever you're fighting but it is what it is and this is what the damage looks like with hockey let me and show you what organ gun looks like it goes up to 24k which is a lot of damage that's a huge amount of damage leo bazooka really doesn't work which is very annoying and then king kong gun does just near 300k 
like 296,000 in total, which is, oh, whew, it's a lot of damage. And then one thing is that if you enable Diablo Jambe, it will increase all of your damage hugely. It is something that I found out. So if you have Black Leg, get double Diablo Jambo, or how you say it, Diablo. But yeah, no, so King Kong Gun goes up to 350k. A lot of damage. Kong Gun goes up to like 150k, which is still a huge amount of damage. Now, organ, Kong Organ Gun gains like 4k damage, it goes from 24k to 28k, which is still a huge damage upgrade. And then I'm gonna go to Katakuri in a second to show you what Leo Bazooka looks like, because it doesn't really want to work over here on these bandits because they have such low HP. Oh, Doe Man, here I come to absolutely just shoot you in the face with a Kong organ gun. Not a Kong organ gun, I meant Leo Bazooka. This is very fun to fly around with Bounce Fight. And here we are at the Phoenix Mask. So what the Bazooka looks like it does 223,000 damage. A lot of damage. It's very overpowered. Let me just turn down the volume because I'm sure you all don't want to hear that just annoyance of damage. Now, if I can go back down there. I can go and disable my stuff. And re enable hockey. So that I can show y'all what Leo Bazooka looks like whenever it has hockey. I could not show y'all that. The damage it deals is 187k, which is still very good. But Diablo John Double Diablo Jambe is still much better. I'm probably am butchering that name so badly, but that is what it is. Anyhow, that's all for this video. Just a quick showcase on these fruit on these abilities on the Gomu Gomu no Mi fruit in a One Piece game. If you have nothing better to do and can AFK like all night play this game, if you don't really want to do the grind, then just don't. That's all. I'll go in.